Hey, what's going on guys? Nick here. How are you? I apologize for the plain backdrop and the poor lighting. I'm still figuring out how to film properly in my dorm. But anyways, continuing our discussion of space futurology, I'm back today with an exciting space elevator concept that has some in the industry buzzing. It's an odd concept that makes a few key compromises, but to be honest, if our dream of making a lift to the cosmos should mean anything, there are compromises that must be made to make this feasible enough for a debut in the real world. Space elevators refer to devices where cars or climbers are pulled along by a very, very long metal ribbon that stretched all the way from Earth to geosynchronous orbit. The idea is to make the initial ascent to orbit much faster and more efficient so that ambitious projects like colonizing Mars might actually become practical. Everything is held together by the centrifugal forces of a huge anchor at the very end, and using a space elevator will allow us to launch to space using electricity instead of explosive chemical energy, saving us a huge investment. The new concept is a bit different in that it also allows us to launch to space across a much smaller portion of Earth's gravity. At 12 miles in total height, the space elevator will feature a launch pad at the top where single-stage reusable spacecraft can launch and land in a very thin atmosphere. The beauty of this project is that it's pairing very well with several ongoing programs at companies like Lockheed and SpaceX, which are developing the vertical takeoff spacecraft that are necessary for this type of operation. A traditional space elevator would keep rigid with all of the centrifugal forces and Earth's rotation keeping it taut. That being said, this space elevator at 12 miles in total height won't have enough outward acceleration for the Earth's rotation to keep it straight. To solve that problem, the engineers are going to use gas pressure. They're going to build a huge cylinder made out of stitched Kevlar rings and then fill it with an incredibly pressurized gas like hydrogen or helium. It's almost like one of those inflatable dudes you see at the car wash. The space elevator will also come equipped with gyroscopes to detect bends and then adjust the pressure accordingly. Amazingly, the company thinks it can build a mile-high prototype within five years and they reckon they can build the entire thing in 10 years with over $5 billion in funding. Now, obviously the big question here is whether or not a 12 mile launch advantage could offset the cost of construction. The company claims that it could save fuel needs by over 30%, but again, would that be enough to justify billions up front? Space elevators are a huge topic of discussion, and I think after today we realize how stark the price barrier is between the space industry and the cosmos they're trying to explore. We don't have all the solutions yet, but who knows where this type of tech will be in the next couple of decades. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.